Hello everyone, so in today's video we're going to be reviewing Phoenix Customs Vengeance figure. So this is based off the recent The Batman movie that came out not too long ago. This was on pre-order and it finally arrived in the mail today, so I'm very excited. So here's the packaging, it looks really nice. Um, it's very simple, but it has this uh, metallic tin card inside. It says Vengeance, designed by PCB, also known as Phoenix Custom Bricks. And it has the new design Batman logo. And there it is, a bit glossy, but there it is, and it looks really nice. So let's get on to the figure itself. All right, so here's the figure, and it has some official Lego pieces. The printing is custom and is printed on official Lego, but uh, this cape and this helmet or mask is uh, custom molded and not official Lego, but looks really nice. You can see some glare on the camera, but it's way more detailed than Legos. Uh, I've been waiting for this for months, so I'm really happy. I really enjoy the Batman movie, so I'm glad to have this figure in my collection. So here's the Batman mask. It looks really nice. It has like, you know, the small pointy ears and it's very nicely molded. And then here's the face. It has kind of like the eyeliner, eyeshadow underneath. And there's his face. It gives us kind of like neutral expression which you also get a second head. So if you take that head off, you can put on this kind of like angry fighting expression. And there it is. And here's what it looks like with the mask. It looks really nice. The mask lines up really nicely with the eyes. And here's the cape, it's molded of course. And you also kind of have these like uh, shoulder pads. Take off the custom cape here's what it looks like underneath and here is the official lego uh torso legs and arms and plus hands so that's what it looks like uh it doesn't have 360 like arm printing or inside torso printing but it still looks really nice um but yeah phoenix normally doesn't have too detailed like 360 printing figures so it makes sense, but yep, that is Vengeance. Yeah, this is the only uh, the Batman figures they've made so far. So I wonder if they're gonna make other ones in the future, but it looks really nice. I have a comparison of a official slash custom the Batman figure. So here it is. Um, I recently got this helmet not too long ago. I think it's like a 3D printed resin uh, print version of the helmet by Nate's minifigure. I'm not sure if it's painted or not, it doesn't look painted, but... And then here's like the Firestar uh, toys head and arms with the official legs and um, this Mando cape in black and you know, the back torso printing. It's like official figure with some like um, custom upgrades, but here's a comparison of two. Um, the Lego helmet does not look very good. Um, it doesn't have like the small pointy ears and the half mask, but yeah. Um, this is sold out, so if you wanna get like a custom one, then you can upgrade your Lego one, or if you find your Lego one, then there you go. Um, but yeah, that is the two Batman figures. You can see that, you know, this has like a dual molded kind of like printing, or this is just kind of like printed on. And this outfit from Phoenix is more dark and accurate. And the Lego one didn't have printed arms or well, this custom head. They just used like, you know, a generic Lego uh, Batman head and mask. And of course um, it came with like a softer fluffy cape so these are all changes but yeah anyways that is the two batman figures so comment down below if you got this figure or not or if you plan on trying to get it on the aftermarket and i'll see you guys in the next video 
If you did enjoy this video, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the bell, like the video, and comment down below. Bye, guys.